Along with all of the things that we love about spring, like Easter, flowers, and gardening, comes hazards that could be harmful to our pets. Our resident veterinarian, Dr. Craig Pryor, is here with a warning about the items that can be potential dangers. As always, thank you very much yes, for being with my us. Pleasure. All right, so let's talk about a couple of things. I mentioned Easter a moment ago. A lot of folks are going out and getting Easter lilies, but I didn't realize that those could be dangerous what, for cats. For cat, kit, yes, because cats will chew typically on house plants. It's just something to do and mm -hmm. it's interesting and tastes good to them. Causes renal failure in cats. So kidney damage, very important you know that and make okay. sure that the Easter lilies are up out of the way of the kitty cats. And, you know, rule of thumb is most house plants are toxic in some way or shape or form to okay. your pets. They either cause vomiting or diarrhea or more serious problems. So just, you know, baby proof your or pet proof your house for, <laughs> for your pets uh, is important. And people, are, you know, Easter's coming, so people are buying all this candy. Yes. Well, chocolates, toxic dogs and cats. Yeah, because we think about chocolate, especially at Christmas time, yeah. but we got to remember it too with Easter and everything. Right. And then you've got the sugar-free candies people buy that are toxic to them as well because they have xylitol in them. And then you put them in these nice little baskets with lots of little tinsley type stuff, which cats like to chew on and swallow, and that can cause string foreign bodies for cats as well mm -hmm. so that's another important thing to remember all right um, and then you know people starting to get outside so you know uh, a lot of people is now putting um, bug sprays out or lawn uh, chemicals out and so you need to be careful about these because a lot of them can be toxic to your pets so you need to make sure your pets aren't there when you're doing it or they're locked up somewhere where they can't get them on them um, in cocoa mulch uh, as people mulch the yard, yeah. you know, some dogs will chew on cocoa mulch, which can be toxic to them as well. So there's lots of things out there. Okay. So a lot of times it's just good common sense. You know, does my dog like to chew on things? Does my cat like to chew on things? Well, let's just don't let them have access to it. Right. There's a 24 hour poison uh, control hotline that you can always Google and call them if you have any questions after hours, if there's any questions, or well, the National Pet Emergency Clinic is always open as well. And then, you know, this time of year, people start going out hiking, things like this. So you just need to remember, my people that, you know, you're animals should be on preventives year-round for mm -hmm. hotworms, fleas, and ticks, and it should be on it year-round, but if you haven't done it yet, you need to get them on them now as soon as possible. Okay. And then... Because once that's done, is it uh, effective immediately, or does it take a little time for well, it to go through the body and get Well, it's, it's, it, it depends what you're using, but the, the, the better products that, that we carry are, are pretty much immediate. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we've had a couple of um, rabies scares here lately. Exactly. Already, County. Yeah. So, you know, um, the Metro used to hold, hold rabies clinics in March, and they're no longer doing them. So if you haven't got your pet updated on the rabies immunizations, you need to do that as soon as possible because rabies is deadly. Mm -hmm. You know, an incubation period for rabies is up to six months. Wow. So, you know, you can have a normal healthy animal that really is not healthy unless you've had its rabies vaccines given okay. to it. And as far as the vaccines, is that just a once a year type deal? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so All right. get them in, get them All right. vaccinated. And one other quick thing too I want to point out is that you've talked about, uh, I guess, digging things up. Uh, snails, is that something that could also be hazardous to, to certain animals? Yes, and this, so snails can carry uh, to certain types of flukes and they can be toxic as well. So, mm -hmm. yes. So, you know, and then snail baits are, are toxic as well. So lots is uh, lots. It's not of, lots of things you just don't necessarily think right, about. Right, so when you get things like that, read the warnings on the back of the pack. Okay. Just don't throw stuff out willy-nilly. Mm, again, read the warnings. Very important Correct. there. As yes. always, great information. Thank you My for being pleasure. with us today. If you'd like to get in touch with Dr. Pryor, you will find him at Murphy Road Animal Hospital over in Sylvan Park.